Hi, it's Darren with Smart Sheet Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get distinct values for more than one range. Let's go over a very simple use case here. We have a sheet here for maintenance department expenses. And each expense has a different category. And some of these repeat. In the employee expenses sheet, you'll see different categories with the exception of office supplies which is common between the two sheets. Now, if you have a metric sheet where you're trying to bring in all the expenses from these two sheets, or you could have three or four sheets or more, you want to get the expenses by category and you want to group the expenses from all the different sheets that have the same category. In this case, office supplies is really the only one that's common between the two. So what you can do is you can make columns to bring in the distinct categories from each sheet. Let's take a look at this formula. This is an index distinct formula. In this employee expenses category range, this is a cross sheet reference pointing to the employee expenses sheet and it pulls in the category, so that's the entire range, and the distinct function selects only the distinct or unique categories from that column. And the index function allows you to select in each row each unique category. So in the employee expenses, we only have three unique categories. So category one is office supplies, work from home accessories, and travel. Likewise, this column uses the same formula, except it is pointed at the category range in the maintenance department expenses sheet. Now to build the expense category list here in the metric sheet, we're also going to use an index distinct function, but we're going to collect the, the range over these two columns. And this will work if you have three columns, four columns, and so on. So this collect function is collecting the values from this column and this column. And it is filtering out any cells in here that are blank using the not is blank at cell as a criteria. And that's important because if you don't have that, you can get blank values in here or blank cells as it's building this range, it can encounter blank cells that will come up in your range. And so putting that criteria in there to filter out blank cells ensures that your resulting range here or resulting values from that range do not include any blank cells. And because we have office supplies in both, that distinct function here eliminates that uh, duplicate value. And in the end, the total amount spent uses a couple sum if function that looks for the amount of the expenses in each sheet based on the category. So I hope this is helpful. If you want more help, check out smartsheetguru.com slash coaching where you can book a session or learn how you, I can help you learn how to use Smartsheet in a more effective way. Thanks for watching.